What's up nerds? I've been meaning to cover every collectible reward items in public events because even though people can google the names of the items that drop from a particular event or even see a JPEG of what it may look like, it's not always that we can see what they look like in game and or being used by a character. So I figured this could be a good way to make another collection video for anyone looking to go after some more things. That said, I realized there's quite a few events that don't have any collectible rewards and some that only have one or two collectible items and making a video about just one or two items while being in a collection channel seems a little illogical to me. I mean, who would even do that? So my initial thought was to make a every collectible reward from every public event video. But that could turn out to be our longest video yet. But I've been running behind a little bit on making videos lately, so I figured maybe we should just group them by regions for now. And once I finish all of the regions, then I can put them together if y'all really want to see it all together. But the amount of public events per region are not really balanced either. Not to mention the rewards themselves are not always balanced. Like certain events will have a ton of collectible rewards, while others will only have one or two. Not to mention, we won't be showing all of the rewards. We will be skipping over consumables, recipes of consumables, weapon mods, mod plans, non-specific items, and stuff that might be collectible but that you can get more easily elsewhere. Stuff like that we will be omitting here. So some of these videos will be shorter than others. That's just a heads up for what you might expect for the next few videos, but I'm getting ahead of myself. So. Let's take a look at every collectible public event reward item in the Maya region. Starting out from rewards in the Moonshine Jamboree event, finishing said event you are guaranteed a Gopur Smacker, which is kind of funny and weird at the same time. Why are we specking Gopurs? And is this a euphemism? If you collect all 60 Venom and no distillers are destroyed during the event, then you can also have a 10% chance to get the plans to craft your own Gopher Smacker. The Gopur head plan is also a 10% drop if no distillers are destroyed with 60 venoms collected. I think I would have preferred a mounted head like all the other creatures, but you know, this is okay I guess. And there's also the Gopur rug which is another plan of 10% drop if no distillers are destroyed and 60 venoms are collected. Moving on to free range, this event can actually pop out in several different places including the forest, savage divide and the mire. But we'll be talking about that on this video since the mire doesn't have a whole lot of events that give collectible stuff. Completing this for the first time gets you a guaranteed plan for the Shepherd's Crook, another two-handed melee weapon. But there's also a chance to get a few other weapon plans including the Sheep Squatch Staff, another two-handed melee weapon, which on inspect, it looks pretty small but in third person it is pretty huge. It is fantastic looking. The Sheep Squatch Club is a one-handed melee weapon, and I think it would have looked cool if it kept its horns like the staff, 
but it's okay I guess, it's at least unique looking. You can also get weapon mod plans for all of these weapons from their respective events. And still from free range, there's the plan for the Sheep Squad Shard, a throwable weapon. It does cause some debuffs, but it's just a throwable weapon. But on the upside, it is pretty sick looking. And that's it, pretty short region to start out, that's why I decided to put free range in here. But that was every collectible public event reward item in the Maya region. Like I said, eventually we will be showing all of the public events of all the regions, and once we're done showing all of those, we might jump into the seasonal events as well, though those will be probably much longer due to their extensive loot pool which are added on to every so often. But if you have any other suggestions on what I should collect and show in this channel, let me know in the comments down below, it can be anything from any game as long as I think they're cool. Otherwise, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to see more collection videos like this, and of course, always nerd on.